everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be going over the film simulation tool in RAW Therapy. And as you can see here, I have my browser open and you know I'm in the RAW PDA, RAW Therapy uh, film simulation website. I'll link to that in the description down below. And the reason that I'm here is because if you scroll down to the bottom, and in here it says RAW Therapy Film Simulation Collection, you can download this zip file. It's 402 megabytes. And when you download it, you can, uh, there's a zip called HALD, H-A-L-D, C, LUT. LUTs are called lookup tables. Um, if you've studied photography even a little bit, you've probably heard somebody mention that. And basically, they're just an easy way of uh, changing the colors. It's someone else, or yourself even, have created a preset for what a standard photo should look like. And um, so you go ahead and uh, extract that hauled CLUT zip to wherever you want to on your PC. I've extracted mine to my pictures folder. And if I double click on that, you can see here, here these are what these CLUTs look like, these color lookup tables. Mm -hmm. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to change our photographs, our digital photographs, to look like they were taken uh, on a film camera. So let's go ahead and open up Raw Therapy. And I have Raw Therapy right here. I have this photo. I took it on my phone. It's of some leaves and the sunrise. It's, uh, it's nice. And I want you to look right here. I don't have anything changed. This is the basic exposure that I took. Um, there's no sharpening, no denoising. I don't have anything extra. And the reason that that's important is because I want to show you what's just possible by downloading that LUT folder. So I'm going to come here to the color. I'm going to come down here to the film simulation. When you first drop down the film simulation, this drop down menu will not have these options here. And in order to do that, you have to go ahead and come here to your preferences and then come here to image processing. And down here where it says hauled CLUT directory, you go ahead and open that up and you can see that I've directed my directory to pictures and hauled CLUT and then clicked open. Uh, and then you have to restart raw therapy. So go ahead and do that now. Okay. Now that you've restarted raw therapy, um, you can go ahead and turn on the film simulation and as you can see I turn it on and nothing happens and that's because we haven't applied any of these LUTs yet. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to just click on the drop down menu and you can see I have black and white so um, let's go ahead and go with a Kodak black and white select that just Kodak T-Max 3200 5 plus plus and you can see that automatically things get changed. Uh, now, of course, I can take the strength here and I can pull the strength back. So for this particular image, since it's a ISO of 3200, um, it really kind of washes everything out. Let's go ahead and try something else. Let's try a Polaroid 664. Okay, you can see these are just black and white LUTs. Okay, let's go ahead and do some color. Let's go ahead and grab maybe a Fuji. And I'm gonna try like a Fuji Provia 100F. And of course, if I wanna see what my picture looks like without that, uh, without the film simulation, I can just turn it off. And you can see that this desaturates a little bit, but it also uh, takes some of the, the fog, uh, takes some of the haze away. Um, you know, I can grab some of these other ones that I found online. Okay, so there you go. So this one just turned all the white in the image uh, blue. Oh yeah, here's the one I found. It's called negative. And so if I want to see the negative of my image, uh, it's a cool effect and it's, it's kind of nice. Um, so anyway, go ahead and just spend some time playing around. I mean, look at how many of these LUTs there are. Uh, like what's a polychrome. I like that one. 
Uh, and then of course, once you have that, you could come back here, let's say to your exposure and bump up the saturation to bring some of that color back in. Uh, or you could turn on your vibrance and make those colors more vibrant to get some cool effects. Anyway, that's how to use the film simulation tool in raw therapy. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you next time.